Hey my friends, how are you? Let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Andy Dalton viewed as one of the top backup QBs in the NFL. The Panthers completely retooled the quarterback room since the end of the 2022 season, letting Sam Darnold and P.J. Walker walk in free agency to bring in veteran Andy Dalton as the mentor for eventual first overall pick Bryce Young. The 33rd team recently tabbed Dalton as the number two backup quarterback in the league. Andy Dalton has had a fine career. The Red Rifle, as he's known, is 35, so age and injury come into play. He started 162 games and has a career passer rating of 87.6. Dalton is an experienced quarterback who teams can trust to come and do the right thing. He's 83-77-2 and has passed for more than 38,000 yards. He has 244 touchdowns to 144 interceptions. Dalton gives the Carolina Panthers a quality and experienced backup behind rookie Bryce Young. I know the situation that we're in here, Dalton said a couple of weeks ago. I knew coming in that we were going to have the first pick and we were going to take a quarterback. For me, that doesn't change my mindset of how I'm going about every single day. I know the reality that this thing is going to be Bryce's at some point. And right now, for me, it's to go be me out there and play like I can play and practice how I expect to practice. And I think with part of that, it's helping Bryce learn the NFL game and the mechanics of getting in and out of the huddle and all the little things you need to learn going into it. The Dallas Cowboys are interested in hiring Andy Dalton. There is no lightning rod in the NFL like the Dallas Cowboys. Just throw them into any sports conversation and watch the sparks inevitably fly. Two wide receivers who formerly wore the star saw it firsthand in recent days. One supported his new quarterback by comparing him favorably to Dak Prescott, and that set off a firestorm. Then another simply praised Prescott's leadership qualities and riled up another of his ex-fanbases who took it as criticism of their current passer. The games can't come soon enough. Meanwhile, we're looking at early reviews of the team's first-round draft pick, we're guessing who could be in for bigger roles in 2023, we're tempering expectations for a repeat year from Dorrance Armstrong, and we're wondering if Mike McCarthy adding play-calling duties is really that big a deal after all. And you fan, what do you think of the Andy Dalton situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.